Hello, hey, how's it going, YouTube? All right, look, so somehow the audio on this footage didn't come out the way it was supposed to, so here I am. But basically, this has nothing to do with anything. I just like the way this McDonald's sign look, and I wanted to start the video out in front of it eating a burger, so that's really it. Has nothing to do with the video, for real. I'm doing a lot for this shot, just because I like the way it looks. In today's video, we're talking about my documentary. going over what we're shooting, how we're shooting it, when and where and everything in between. I'm super excited to share this with you guys because I'm also super excited to be making my first documentary. So yeah, um, let's get into it. All right, so how are you guys doing today? It's of course your boy Volandis back with another video. And as you guys seen from the title of this video and that quick little intro, we're talking about my documentary that I'm shooting this summer. Now I kind of just wanted to get on here, sit down and talk to you guys about why I'm doing this documentary, how I'm doing this documentary, when I'm doing documentary, all this stuff, because this is my first time ever doing a documentary. Now, if you're not new here and you've been following me since the beginning of not only this channel, but my presence online as a photographer, you know that documentary was the first type of style that really got me into pushing my photography. Also, if you don't know, I am from the west side of Detroit, Michigan. Anybody out there who has heard about Detroit, Michigan has probably heard all the stories that you can hear about the city of Detroit. Now, also, if you're not new here, I've talked about it on this channel, on other channels, on podcasts, and all over the internet, but, but when I first got into photography, I tried doing all the things that I thought other people wanted to see, such as shooting downtown and shooting nature and shooting landscapes and shooting all these things that other photographers were getting recognition for online. And I quickly realized that that style of photography just didn't suit me and it didn't bring me the enjoyment that I was looking for within photography and the reason why I started photography in the first place. So I started documenting the people around me, the streets around me and the places that I know and love as the city of Detroit. Now with this came a lot of backlash. Granted, this was 2014, 15 and even till this day. Now there's a lot of people who said that I glorify gangs, guns and violence. And then there was the other side of people who understood my message and what I was trying to show. It kind of sparked a lot of important discussions and conversations between people who were left and right. Because honestly, in my opinion, whether or not you think something is right or wrong, there are many, many, many systemic reasons to why things are the way they are in America. And it also just doesn't take away from the fact that these areas exist, these people exist and these problems exist and that they need to be addressed. I'm just the messenger. Now at first some of these conversations would bother me and annoy me but I then soon realized that these conversations were important and that they needed to be had no matter how uncomfortable they were and that's when I realized that I loved doing documentary work and I knew that it was only a matter of time until I realized I was going to want to do like video documentary work and like actually put some time and effort into a full length documentary project. And that is what I'm doing now. And I'm super excited about it. Again, I'm doing all of this by myself, which means I'm doing the lighting by myself. I'm doing the camera work by myself. I'm doing the directing by myself, the producing, editing, every single thing by myself. Now, can I bring people onto this project to help me? Of course. And honestly, if there's help to be had, then I'm probably going to take it in some form or fashion but for the majority of this documentary i do want it to be my own little baby that i can rock and cradle and put the bed and feed and see it become the young adult that it's supposed to be and in all honesty this is probably going to be extremely challenging but i am super 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 excited for that challenge and i also want to prove to not only myself but to everybody out there who watches these videos or who may come across that documentary video that you can do things all alone if you truly want to and truly have to and it can be done and i want to prove to myself that that is also a possible thing to do i know the deeper that i get within my filmmaking career if i even have a filmmaking career i say that as if whatever but if i do get to that point if i'm grateful enough to get to that point in my filmmaking career where i can have a crew of people who work on lights and people who do certain things that 
I don't have to do and all I have to do is either direct or shoot the video, then I know that I'm in a good place within my career. But right now I do just want to do this myself and kind of have full control over everything. So going into this, knowing that it's not going to be perfect. But again, if you guys watch the channel, y'all know that I love the fact that things aren't perfect and it's not going to be perfect. But anyway, enough of that, getting into the actual documentary, what we're gonna use to shoot it and all that other stuff. We can talk about that now. Now, up until maybe, I don't know when I met Benji, maybe four or five years ago, I'm not really sure, but I didn't even know that a bike life culture existed in this city and I've been here my entire life. I'm also sure there's a lot of other people who do not know that bike life culture exists here because it's definitely prominent in other cities like Philly. I feel like when people think about Detroit, they don't think about things like bike life or photography or videography or anything of that nature. They think of something else. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's not those things. And Banshee and Nito and honestly, every single person that I've met through the bike life culture of Detroit have been the most genuine and just nice nicest people to be around they just want to ride their bikes and that's it and i think it would be cool and not to say that i have like this huge platform or anything but i would think it would be cool to give some of those kids a platform to do that and to share their stories and to share their stories even with me because i don't know everything also another reason why i'm doing this alone is because i want to do this in the most genuine and just personal way that i can possibly do it so i'm extremely excited to get this going and start shooting this and just kind of show you guys the process and hopefully it inspires other people to do something of the same within their cities or wherever they are but anyway in terms of gear and what i'm using to shoot this documentary first and foremost the camera if you guys have been watching this channel you know that i just picked up the black magic pocket 6k pro if you haven't seen that video go watch it it's a great video in that video i go over why i personally picked up this camera specifically to shoot the documentary things that i want to shoot one being that it has black magic raw and different codecs that i truly want to use since i'm working by myself the fact that it has built-in nds is amazing it has a bunch of other professional cinema camera things built into the camera that i personally just wanted for this project and projects moving forward. But anybody who has had this camera or knows about this camera knows that it comes with its downfalls. But to combat one of the issues that this camera has, which is the memory, Angel Bird was nice enough to send me over some memory. If I'm being honest, I have never heard about Angel Bird up until maybe six months ago. And ever since I've been eyeing some of their products because they look amazing. And I've heard other filmmakers and photographers and people rave about their product so they were nice enough to send me over some of that stuff to try out and to talk about with you guys so very first and foremost beautiful packaging it's top tier level packaging it's the type of thing you buy just so you can unbox it and i didn't know that it was going to be an amazing experience unboxing a memory card but it definitely was and if i knew that i would have recorded it but i didn't know but yeah they sent me over the 512 gigabyte memory card which is amazing which immediately took my storage to the next level nicely built and just amazing like i love having this cf card in my camera it has nothing to do with like i don't know like things people care about like lenses or but this is amazing just an amazing memory card i need like 10 more i'm not even gonna lie to you probably moving forward will be the only memory card brand that i use for now on so thank you angel bird they're not sponsoring this video but i'm being dead serious and you guys know i only promote things that i truly and genuinely care about and i think is really good so yeah dead serious amazing but anyway yeah with that being said i'm just shooting the documentary with this camera and this camera only i'm using a set of dzo lenses well not a set a couple of dzo lenses which is the 35 to 21 millimeter that i have on this camera right now i'm trying to get a 75 or 100 millimeter for close shots so yeah i'm going to be using mostly honestly just dzo lenses i'm also with this documentary probably will be going for a little bit of a stylized look that may not be i don't know the standard for documentary work i haven't watched too many documentaries recently to like kind of get inspiration from because I kind of wanted to go into this with a fresh mind and just like my own type of approach to documentary work so so yeah it's probably not the lens you probably think of when you think of shooting documentary work but this is the Nikkor Nikon Nikkor AI 24 millimeter 
And I picked this lens up because I kind of wanted to have a vintage look to some of the footage that I was going to be getting. And um, I have this idea and plan in mind of things that I want to do. And I've seen a couple reviews on this lens and been wanting to pick it up for a while. So I got it specifically for this, but I'm sure I will be using it for other things as well. So, but other than that, that's really all I have. I got a couple lights that I'm going to be using and other boring stuff, C stands and I don't know, flags and stuff like that. But yeah, that's really all I'm going into it with minimal gear that I already have. And yeah, I'm just going to see what I can do. And hopefully it's something good and hopefully you guys enjoy it. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to be documenting the process of shooting this documentary on my other channel the film so if you are not subscribed to that go over and subscribe i know i haven't posted anything in a minute but it's coming soon i promise i just have to you know figure it out have a lot of stuff going on not gonna lie but yeah with that being said uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this little video i know it wasn't i don't know a teaching video or the other videos that i've been doing lately but i did want to talk to you guys about the documentary so because I'm very excited about it. So yeah, um, hope you guys are just as excited as me. So yeah, man, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Um, like the video, comment, do all the things the YouTubers tell you to do. I myself, I'm gonna get up out of here and I'm gonna go do some shit, man. You know the vibes. Let's get it. Bye.